소원들이 다 이루어지는 새해가 될 줄로 믿습니다. 하나님 살아 계시. Hallelujah. All of your wishes will be fulfilled this new year. God is alive. Matthew chapter 8 verse 13. Let's look that up. Even the family members were not here or they may be in other places. Even if you're here for the first time and you think it's not going to work for you, please take the blessings that it's going to happen. Even if you're here for the first time or whether you've been here tens of years, it'll all happen for you. So why doesn't it really work well? If you realize that and you continue to practice that as being a Christian life of faith. But Pastor Park, this revival, I think you've been doing it for 20 years, twice a year, but every time you say, you, every time you do it, it's always different. Yes, of course, because it's infinite. God is love, and that love is infinite. And that is why, like you know, if you are obedient to the commandment that you go to heaven, Psalms 119 verse 96, it's infinite. And that's why when you drink math, that infinite sign, that's 96. If you write that sideways, then that's, that's actually infinite sign. That's why love of God is infinite. So if you know that love is infinite, that means that you can receive spiritual power infinite. So what is love? Love is spiritual power. That's why I say as much as you love, that's how much miracles will happen. Luke chapter 9, verse 23. So this punk, pastor park that's standing in front of you, if I love someone, now do you have peace in your heart? Do you have peace in your heart? The face is getting better and better. Look, on the, look, at, look at the person. She's getting better and better. The devil that was tormenting her, him, it's the parents passed it down. Of course, the parent, parents are going to be surprised. Like, when did I ever pass it down? The, Proverbs 19, verse 3, the ancestor transgressions is what makes your children like that. And yet you're being fooled by your ancestors transgress, your, your demons. John 8, verse 44, your ancestors demons come in and it keeps lying to you and you're being fooled by it. That's why people who lie is because of the ancestors devils. And even people who don't realize this, the Bible is because of the ancestors devils. John chapter 8, verse 43, 44. Even the people who hate other people, who envy and who have jealousy, is all because of your ancestors devils. And so if you don't chase the devils out, then other, de other demons... Eight, eight of them will come back. Matthew chapter 12, verse 45. Why is that person's personality like the, there's eight different types because they have the eight different th demons inside. Those type of people, they can talk really well. Proverbs 26, verse 25. Even though you can talk well, but inside them is because they have eight demons inside. You have to know, be able to differentiate. So how blessed are you? So you are here. And whoever your family members are over all over the world, they too can receive blessings. So this year, if you have one heart, one way, I will do well, my children will do well. And you'll go to heaven. And when you, and you can receive all the blessings, block all the calamity. When you block all the calamity, this incredible blessing is can be fulfilled by one heart, one way. And when you listen to the sermon, you've listened to it. So you just have to look up two verses. It's all there. And not only that, but this year, you will, and the blessing that you'll be best in the whole world. And that's why South Korea is uh, going to be the most blessed, strongest country in the world. God has promised to us. And so we're going down that path. So me and my children are going to do well. It doesn't just end there. If it just ends there, then what are you going to do with reality? You you keep... So this early morning service, we talked about if you pray, it'll just happen. So here, even for your families who are not here, you're only here by yourself. You're really... But you can give all the blessings to your rest of your family members. So even though you're here for the first time, oh, if I knew this, I should have come here 20 years ago. Don't worry. Even if you're here for the first time, you'll still be blessed. So even if you're first time, so don't think that you're not going to 
be blessed. So do not be disappointed. It'll it'll happen for you. Matthew 8, verse 13. Let's read together. Ready? Go. And Jesus said to the, the centurion, Go, it shall be done for you as you have believed. And the servant was healed that very moment. Amen. So all of you, this this person, the centurion has hundred hundred subordinates. High, he he's pretty high level. Long time ago in Korea, people who are in high positions, they say, "I'm gonna let you know your sins. It's all your sins that you need to to repent." But instead, you you bring other people in. I will let you know your sins, but. For us, we just have to change it to before God. I, I let you my, I let you know my sins. That's why South Korea, we could be so blessed if we just change it. I will let you know your sins, but if we change it to I will know my sins. So it's like such a such a small difference, and that's why in the world, I don't know if 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 it's only our Korea, because of our our. A language but God gave this mystery to us it's incredible so let's receive this so you can do well and you can save your children and be patriotic to a country and and give peace to the world so this person before Jesus first time he comes before Jesus even though and because of his servant at home gets healed right away how about you even if you're here for the first time, it'll happen for you. Even if you've believed for a long time, it'll happen for you. Whether What is the difference between having it happen and not? That is what we need to look up, find out. Everybody takes a medication, but how come you're not healed? What happened? That means that there's something wrong that you're doing. That means that it's not right for your body or because that medication doesn't work. We have to find out the reason. So let's re read it one more time. Ready? Go. And Jesus said to the centurion, Go, it shall be done for you as you have believed. And the servant was healed that very moment. Amen. That's really strange. Who said that? Also, if he if he does it, that if he says it, that means it's going to be it's going to be done. So Jesus said it, and it was done. So then you and me. We have to, if Jesus says, that is faith. Let's receive that as a gift. So let us pray. Blessed Father, Almighty Father, Father, even though we're such sinners, but Father, you have given, made us, your, as your children, this, this incredible mystery. We thank you for giving this to us as your child. Help us to receive all the blessings. Please bless us, Father. You said as much as we love you that we'll receive your love. And that love starts with treasuries and receiving everything, Father. As, help us to be obedient to your commandment. Father, we give you our hearts in the in our treasuries, our wealth. Father, we would like to give you our life, Father. Help us to believe in your in your almighty God's promise. We wish to give you our hearts and our flesh and our life. Father, please answer all of our prayers. Help all of our wishes to come true. Even the family members that are not here, please help them receive answers. Father, as it's, it's centurion, Father, may the servant that was left at home be healed. That miracle, help all of us to receive that miracle. According to your word, help us to realize, help us to receive answers. According to your, your word, help us to have the right realization. Help us to eat your spiritual food. Help all of us receive your spiritual power. All this we pray in Jesus' name. With thanksgiving and blessings, we pray. Amen. All of you, this incredible blessing. This blessing. Who said this? So Jesus said this, then it happens right away. And that is why, who's, in whose name do I pray? In, in, we pray in Jesus' name. And that's why it's going to happen. And that is why all of you, you have to live like this. That's what God wants you to do. But this person, he's, he comes before Jesus first time in his life. How do you know? When you, when you belong to Roman army and he has 
subordinates, a hundred subordinates, if he goes to buy Jesus, then he is going to be a heretic and he's going to be cut right away. So if you are just because of that servant, you're not going to go risking your life like that. You just let your servant die. But the centurion, he looks at the servant as precious, really precious and love that servant. Even if he was going to be cut, he laid down his life for the servant. And that's why when Jesus saw him, that's why Jesus acknowledged him. That's why Jesus answered his prayers right away. That's If you read from verse 1, that is what is there. So why doesn't it work for you? It's because you and for your children you do that. You don't even do that. You just think, you just come up with all kinds of excuses. If you think that you're going to be praised, then, then you want to do that. But if you think that you're going to be rebuked, then, oh, no, 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 I'm not going to do that. And that's why when you go somewhere, those people who you don't like, you say, you like the oxtail soup, but there's a lot of tails in there to those people who only care about themselves, who are so selfish. So here, what is the reason why this person, it happens? Why does Jesus tell him his faith is great? So what is faith? That he had great faith, that even the, the, he, the servant at home was healed. And how about, how come for us it doesn't work? Even for us and our children and our, and our brothers, let's realize what we're doing wrong. Let's look up Matthew chapter 1, verse 1. Matthew chapter 1, verse 1. You thought that the sermon was ended on that? What did I tell you? 5,000 verses, you have to do that, then it'll end. That's why Matthew chapter 1, verse 1. If you can't give a sermon on that for 5,000 sermons, then you're fake. Why? Because that is deep understanding promise that God gave us. You have to do that so that you'll know Jesus Christ. But before, before then, you thought that you knew Jesus Christ, but you didn't. This incredible promise. But Pastor Park, do you really need to do it up to that point? The helicopter, when it flies, the, propel, the propeller, if it's going around slowly, it doesn't fly. It has to go really fast for it to fly. Not only that, but the bigger the, the wings, the, the more verses you have, then it can actually even carry a tank. But if it's actually a toy, but it doesn't even, it can't even fly with, with bread, even though it's the same helicopter. Here, this is the swordsmanship of the word. That's what makes a difference. Did I make this up? No, Ephesians chapter 6, verse 19. Oh, Matthew chapter 6, Matthew 1, verse 1. Let's, look, let's read that first. The record of the genealogy of Jesus, the Messiah, the son of David, the son of Abraham. Amen. Why is there so many names, but God, God only puts Abraham and David? Abraham is because he, he's obedient, and David, he repents. That's why Jesus Christ, Jesus is obedience, and Christ is repentance. And that is why all of you, even the people, Abraham, if you're obedient like Abraham, and if you repent like David, then Jesus Christ, that faith, you become like you become the same person like that. And that's why this person before you, the only thing I can boast is that I obedient. I have the most sins. That's I repent as much as I can. So when I do that, then he will anoint you and, and raise you above everybody. That's why God said, humble yourself before Lord, James chapter 4, verse 10. That's why whether it's one month or one year, even if I don't have to read the Bible, I can do all, I can give sermons. Why? It's not that it's good not to look at the Bible. But on the other hand, but if you put the Bible in your he head, then you're going to kill Jesus, you crazy person. But if you meditate, if, if you memorize it, John chapter 8, verse 37. But on the other, other, other hand, but if the word goes inside your heart, that's faith. John chapter 5, verse 38. So if the word goes inside your heart, that is, that is spiritual power. And that's why Matthew chapter 1, verse 1, if you look there, Jesus Christ, after that, you and I, we have to find a genealogy. That's, that space is your space. And that is why you have to have the right relationship with Jesus. But who comes in between you and Jesus? Christ has to go there. And that's why through Christ, Christ you receive grace. Ephesians chapter 1 verse 7. Who is Christ? You have to go in Christ. Then you'll be forgiven of your sins. You're going to receive grace. And that's Ephesians chapter 1 verse 7. It's recorded there. And that is why you and me, Jesus Christ, has to come inside my heart. So that just now, as Jesus says, your faith is great. 
this person, how come he came for the first time but he had great faith? So then you and me, even though you have believed for a long time but you don't have faith? Smaller than a tail of a mouse? But even that is big. It's smaller than a small of a pea, half of a pea. Why is that? Because you keep chasing. Faith keeps leaving you. That's why demons, they say, oh, faith only has to come once, it'll never leave you. That Now, nobody really says that anymore. In the beginning, when I first went to the States for revival, they said, you only have to believe once and it'll never leave you. Then Second First Timothy chapter 4, verse 1, it says the Holy Spirit is telling you that faith is going to leave you. But they said, no, it'll never leave you. So if he doesn't leave you, let me see your your fruit. So I, I, I saw the pastor and he was chased away. He was kicked out from a church and he didn't even have a car to drive around. So if we only have to believe once, then why do we have to, why do we have come here? You can live however you want. You'll still end up going to heaven, but it's not like that. You're here, but if you have faith, Matthew 8 verse 13, according to your faith, it'll happen. But do you have faith? But it doesn't work for you, right? So test yourself if you have faith or not. Let's look up 2 Corinthians chapter 13, verse 5. So test yourself if you have faith. So all of you, this incredible, incredible love, that's why, whether you're, wherever your fa family is, as long as you're, he you're only here by yourself, so you're really exasperated, no. As long as you're here, it'll happen, but you don't have faith, that's why it doesn't work. As long as you have that faith, it'll work but you don't make this faith up when you receive grace and then or faith or the Holy Spirit they're all gift of God so whether if it's gift of God then how do so you have to find out how you receive this gift just because you're a pastor God doesn't give you faith or Holy Spirit as a gift that's why God said if they're to denomination God will never give Holy Spirit Jude chapter 1 verse 19 and that's why denominations will never receive Holy Spirit. God said He will never give it. There's nobody who's above God. So you're mocking the Word of God. So if you don't believe, John chapter 16 verse 9, all that is sin. So where there is sin, calamity will follow. Proverbs 13 verse 21. And that's why when you go to early morning service, dawn service, why do you go to church? Why? Because every dawn, God will, God will do His judgment. So He's going to find that. He's going to judge whether, oh, according to your sin, I'm going to kill you at this hour, with you know, in an in an accident, or God's going to make you run over someone, and you're going to you're going to end up in jail. So do not be used as a as a wicked tool. That's why Proverbs 16 verse 4, the wicked people will still be used as a wicked tool by God, but we only want to be used as a righteous tool. And that's why Pastor Noah always prays that let us only be, let us only be used as a righteous tool. So when I go to a revival, they all say, oh, please use me. You can't say that because God will use everybody, whether you're as a wicked tool or a righteous tool. So if you are used as a, a wicked tool, you're going to be doomed to third and fourth generation. And giving glory to God, you have to be a witness. Second Corinthians chapter 13, verse 5. Test yourself if you have faith. Ready? Go. Test yourselves to see if you are in the faith. Examine yourselves. Or do you not recognize this about yourselves, that Jesus Christ is in you, unless indeed you fail the test? Amen. So whether you have faith, test yourselves. So test yourself. That's command from God. So you think that you only have to believe once and He will never leave you? Then why would God tell you to test yourselves? It will it will leave you. First Timothy chapter six verse ten. If you love money, faith will leave you. It'll faith faith will leave you. If you repent, if you sin and you don't repent, it'll faith will leave you. If you go outside of Christ, that is not faith. That's Galatians chapter one verse six through ten. But all of you, you say it doesn't fade, it doesn't leave. What lies? Where'd you learn that? And then you die, 100% you're going to hell. So let's not live like that. And so the demons do, let's not be fooled by the demons. That's what God is telling us. So only the doomed people, they're gonna, they're gonna fool you. Full of demons, they're gonna fool you. Second Corinthians chapter four, verse three and four. Chapter 4, verse 3 and 4, it's recorded there. They're going to fool you, these fake pastors. 
And not only that, but Colossians chapter 2 verse 8, you're going to go to hell. That's 2 verse 8. If you don't do forced repentance, you listen to the fake sermon, it's going to kill you and take you to hell. So test yourself whether you have faith. God is saying. And what does he say after that? You just read it. You should know better than me. Whether you have faith or not, you should test yourself. What does God tell you? You just read this, but you you don't have the you you don't have the answer. There's a saying. There's a song for the kids about jiriring jiriring, which is the bell bell bell. Be careful. Get out of my way. Because if you don't, if you're holding back, then you're going to be in trouble. Second Corinthians chapter 13, verse 5. Let's read it one more time. If you don't know what faith is, you read it and you still don't know what it means. And so you have to know until it's very bright. Just imagine how much you have to repent. If you don't repent and look at the Bible, if you go to a fake church, wherever you go, and then you go to revival and they say if you don't memorize and you can't eat so in order for you to eat you have to memorize but it doesn't work why because if you memorize it it's going to make you go crazy that's why you can't memorize it easily that's why you do you try so hard and after that there's so many people that get crazy and they end up going to psych psych ward that's why when i go to revival they say oh pastor park we have a congregation member that's in the that's in the mental hospital why because that that person is like memorizing them memorize memorizing all these bibles verses and they laugh at you that's like blocking all the blocking all the glory going to going to god the bible is our spiritual food for a heart you cannot put it in your head because if you do that then you're killing yourself and you're killing jesus john chapter 8 verse 37 and that is why the bible if you go to fake churches they they don't want you to give a lot of sermons and a lot of Bible verses. Why? Because it makes them go crazy. So that that's why at fake churches, they tell you to make your sermons really short. So yeah, fake churches, they're really happy about that because they they only have to give one verse. Why? That's your spiritual food. So if you only give them one verse or even less than that, how can you make, make sure that they're going to survive? So if you give them food but only one piece of rice, how can they survive? And that is why in one bowl of rice it has more than 5,000 rices in there and that's why God said you have to repent 5,000 verses then only that pastor is acknowledged by God as a true pastor Jeremiah chapter 3 verse 15 deep understanding you have to live and you have to do well so test yourself if you have faith and then after that what did he say let's read it one more time ready go test yourself to see if you are in the faith Examine yourselves, or do you not recognize this about yourselves, that Jesus Christ is in you, unless indeed you fail the test? Amen. So test yourselves, whether you have faith, and examine yourselves. And what does it say? Jesus Christ is where? Is in you. Test yourselves. Whether it's in your heart or not. So then, Jesus and God what are they different or same if you're here for the first time let's look up john chapter 10 verse 30 jesus is god and that is why god coming inside your heart that's an incredible saying that is faith so why doesn't god come inside my heart it's because your heart it's dirty inside, so I cannot go inside you. Through the Holy Spirit, you have to chase the, the demons inside your heart. Then I can go inside. That's what he says. And that is why all of you, whether you have faith, you have to test yourself. That's command from God. And before you go take the car, you have to make sure the tires are not flat. And you have to make sure you have gas. But uh, during our time, during radio, they say, radiator, 
before in our times because the cars weren't that strong so then we would always check the radiator and whether it had engine oil and even then we had problems god is telling you that's command test yourself if you have jesus christ inside you if you have faith jesus christ inside you that's why matthew chapter 1 verse 1 genealogy did you find it well, that's I, really strange about you if you found your genealogy and last night and even early morning if I we share this sermon but Pastor Park I you should have questions but none of you have questions it's like you already know or you already you already died or you already baptized but you're not being baptized but then you're baptized you're doing backwards sure yes you can be backwards if I tell you to go you stop but if I tell you to stop you go if you hear for the first time those who are actually driving for the first time I don't know how they learn, but when they when they step on the brake, it brake is like they do it so hard that you go forward, and then when you start, they turn on the step on the accelerator, you go backwards. But now, after a while, you you even if you try it, you can't. You don't do that. So after after Korean War, when we receive when we were free. There was nobody, there, there weren't anybody, there weren't too many drivers back then. And in fact, the train, nobody was able to, to drive it because they didn't know. So then they drove it and they drove it through the, through the tunnel. They drove it through the wall because they didn't know how to drive it. It's really funny, but that's what happened right after the Korean War. That's what our life of faith is in you. Jesus Christ has to be in you. So from our side, is it Jesus or is it Christ? From our side, it's Christ. Christ. God said, is Lord. So let's look at Matthew 16, verse 16. Christ is Lord. This is the problem why it doesn't work. Matthew chapter 16, verse 16, it says, Christ is Lord and Jesus is not Lord right away. And that's because you don't know. That's why you don't receive faith as a gift. And then pastors are so funny because there are so many pastors who don't have faith. Because I can tell right away. Why? Because if you can see what's inside them, then do you know or not? If I can see what's inside them, who? God? Who does, that, who does God give that to? Only the pastors who have deep understanding. God shows people's hearts to that pastor Proverbs 20 verse 5 and that's why sometimes when I'm walking down the street I say mister you don't you can't have that inside your heart and then they look at you and they say who are you you can say that I'm I'm Pang how can you how can you look inside my heart because I see it, that's why I can see it. I can, I can see it, that's why I know. That's why when a pastor has deep understanding, this, this is a mystery that God gives. So don't you want to receive this? Don't you want to receive this? So you can help others? Receiving this is true pastor. It's not my saying, but those who have deep understanding, God gives deep understanding to... That's Proverbs 1 verse 5. That's why I said, let's do it together. Because I've received it from God. And so all of you can live like that. You can do well and your children can do well and help others. So we should live like this. So let's all receive this spiritual power and live like this. Amen. So if it works, so why should I be the only one to receive this blessing? Matthew chapter 10, it says, to give everybody freely. So Pastor Park, why don't you freely give it? fast well you have to follow first Colossians chapter 3 verse 16 it's not by myself we give to each other and that's why when you when you are doing swords with other people if I have one meter and you're following me but then I turn around you and you're not there and when I go back you're back on the beach you're just flying if I or playing and that's why I have to go back from Miryang all the way to Heunde. If you just follow me, then I will give you as much as I can. And the, that's why Jesus, 
How long did he spend with his disciples? They, did, they, they didn't have any vacation. Hey, Peter, I know you have your wife. You should go home. No, the, he didn't have any of that. It was for three and a half years. For Peter, how happy was he that he didn't go home for three and a half years? He didn't, wa he didn't want to go home and, and, and see his wife. He just followed Jesus for three and a half years. So if you look in the first four books in the New Testament, it doesn't say, Jesus, let me go home, give me vacation. That's how much, that's how happy they were with Jesus. So all of you, if you go see heaven and, and go to heaven and be healed when you see it, and also you can see everything very clearly and, and be able to give sermons freely. So don't you want to, don't you want to do this? Then you don't want to go home. That's why I'm lacking, but when I go to revival, the reason why everybody talks about it is because of this. Anybody can come and they can learn. Oh, I want to. Because God said He will give it to everybody. Oh, I should be able to receive this. So yes, you should receive all this and do all good work. Amen. And that's what, let it happen according to your faith. That's what this means. So the centurion, that's what Jesus said. According to your faith, it'll happen. So according to your faith, it'll happen. So if you don't believe, then John 16 verse 9, that's a sin. So if you don't believe, then you're going to receive calamity. But why are you doing that? You should believe and receive blessings instead. You have to believe and change your change your life. But instead, you want to not believe and, and receive calamity. That's really strange. Why do you want to do that? So when you go to a comic room, you can't keep your kids from going there. So when I was living in Seoul, I just bought one, bought a, a comic room. And I said, when my children come, it's all day long, let him just sit there and just read. So then after after school, I just put my kids in there. And after, after 15 days, he didn't want to go there anymore. Yeah, my, my son who's a doctor, that's what I did to him. So when you make him do it until he gets sick, sick, sick of it, that's why they don't want to do it anymore. But if you stop them from, from doing it, then they're going to want to continue to do that. So I still use that method. So in the world, I just let them do as much as they can until, until they get sick of it. So then he's at home. I said, why didn't you go to the comic room? And then I just go put him there again. So he, did, he didn't even last a month. He didn't want to go there anymore, so then I just sold it. So as long as I don't, I, I, I don't let him lose out, then I just buy it back. What does that say? Let's receive faith as a gift. So here, Christ is Lord. Amen. Matthew 16, verse 16. Because we read it, let's read it together. Christ is Lord. So what does Lord do? He's our helper, right? So if you deny Lord, that's heretic. That's 2 Peter chapter 2, verse 1. If you deny Lord, that's heretic. And that's why if you give a sermon that's sweet to your ears and deny Lord, then that's, that's heretic. It's not me. 2 Peter chapter 2, verse 1. Luke 6, verse 26. It's all recorded there. Let's read together. Matthew 16, verse 16. Simon Peter answered, You are the Christ, the Son of the living God. Amen. So the, the servant that you left at home, even though the centurion, he, he came to Jesus for the first, first time, the, the servant, servant got healed. But he said, Jesus said, your faith is, is big. So what did he do that his faith, even though he came for the first time, that his, his servant got healed? So then you and me, that means that it can happen for you and me. So what am I doing wrong that it doesn't work? So your faith is not big. You don't even have faith. So then what is faith? Jesus Christ coming inside my heart, that is faith. God said to test yourselves. So Jesus Christ, is it in your is, is Jesus Christ in your heart? Test yourselves. So Christ from the from the beginning is Lord. So because he's Lord, Hebrews thirteen verse six, let's look that up. He's our helper. So then Jesus is not Lord right away. So that's why he can't come inside your heart easily. So he has to, 
We have to do it so that he becomes Lord and then he'll come inside. So this is what we need to correct. Then you're according to your faith, it'll happen. Even your children, everybody at home, they're going to be blessed. So today, let's receive this tonight. Today, let's receive this. Amen. So let's read it with one voice. Ready? Go. So that we confidently say, The Lord is my helper. I will not be afraid. What will man do to me? Amen. So Lord, Christ is Lord. So if you want to receive faith as a gift, then Jesus Christ has come inside your heart. So Christ is Lord. So from the beginning, He's our helper. So when you do force your repentance, then He helps everybody that do force your repentance. But Jesus Christ has to come inside your heart. That is faith. But Jesus, He doesn't help you and me. Why is that? Because you don't know this? So you say you're a pastor or you're a theologian? You don't even know if you have faith or not? So this time, Matthew 1 verse 1, we're continuing, this is what we're continually doing. Matthew chapter 1 verse 1. So as we're doing this, and, you, and yet you're talking about swordmanship of the word, what? You can't even use chopsticks? And, and, and you want food? You have a long way to go. And that means that you have a long way to go. You may not know that me, what that means. So if you don't know, it's, it's, a, it's a long ways. It, long ways to go. You have long ways to go. So sometimes I say something that doesn't apply, but you don't, it's okay. You don't have to know. You, you can, it doesn't have, it has nothing to do with going to heaven. So all of you right now, you, even though you think that it's very simple, faith is a gift from God. So how is it that to the centurion who comes for the first time, he get, that he has faith that even the servant at home was healed? But how about me? For 50 years now, I've been believing. 30 years I've been believing, but it doesn't happen for me. That's a, that's a big question mark. Many, many question marks, right? Oh, I got into, a, I got into an accident and I, got, and I got hurt. It doesn't happen for you? Because Christ is Lord. He's our helper. But Jesus is not Lord. Here is a difference between faith as a gift or not. Jesus Christ is not two. First Timothy chapter 2, verse 5, they're one. But even though they're one, but God doesn't give them as one at the same time. Here, the blood of cross, Colossians chapter 1, verse 20. Christ gives peace in my heart, one heart, one way, one heart. And Jesus fulfills oneness. What they do is different. But if Jesus Christ comes inside my heart, then that is faith. So Christ, from the beginning, Christ in the beginning is our, as Lord will come in, and as much as we repent, the, the love of Christ will come inside our heart. That's Ephesians chapter 1 verse 28, Luke chapter 1 verse 28. Grace is when, as much as you go inside Christ, you'll receive grace. And that's why Lord is Christ Lord as our helper. And Lord help being with us, that is faith. That's why when you go to church, you have to receive, you have to receive Faith, but Christ, faith, you have to go inside Christ by doing forced repentance. So if you didn't do forced repentance, you went to revival, you really, you say you receive grace, even though you say to each other, please receive grace, but God is saying, you are a liar. You don't even know Mr. Christ, Mr. God. You, faith, grace is when you go inside Christ. From that point, the Lord will be a helper. So Jesus Christ is going inside your heart. That is faith. Surely, a little while ago, you have to test yourself whether you have faith. That's what's written there. And that is why Christ is Lord. So He will help. He'll help us. The Lord will help us. Hebrews 13, verse 6. It said, Lord is Christ, and He is our helper. That's what He said. Lord is our helper. But Jesus is not Lord. 
What does that mean? If faith is Jesus Christ, it's inside your heart, that's faith. But Pastor Park, but today why are we doing that? But why? Because the level has to continue to go up. We can't always be like kindergartners, daddy, mommy. We can't always be talking about that. So now we have to be able to call daddy and mommy differently. So that's why God said, test yourself if you have faith. So he said this. So Christ Jesus has come since come inside our heart. Christ, when you do force your repentance, he, he will become a helper. Lord, help everybody because he's Lord. But Jesus is a gift of God. But when you do force your repentance, the word of Christ, he will give us. But Jesus, he doesn't give us. And that is why faith is not complete. Why doesn't he give us? So what do we do on the first day? If you, if you, does your flesh win over your heart? Does your, your heart always loses to your flesh? So if Jesus, Jesus, God doesn't give Jesus to, to you who are always losing out to your flesh. No. So he is same as God. So you cannot lose out. If you lose, God's not going to give you Jesus. John chapter 10 verse 30. We didn't read it. Let's look that up. Almighty God, He can't lose to your flesh. Then how can that be faith? And that's why you have to win. When you can win, until then He's not going to give in. That's why at the first night, you have to continually meditate on that word. Your the the word that the sermon about your 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 mind or your heart winning over your flesh, then God will give Jesus to you. Jesus comes or God comes and you have to win. You have to win over your flesh. Otherwise God will not give you. So then why don't you have faith as a gift? Because you continually lose out to your flesh. Your 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 heart loses to your flesh. That's why at first night that's what we talked about. Now is it Amen? You're a little surprised and say, you say, oh me. And that's why you say you have faith. But when I look at you, there are many of you who don't have faith. Every day you're losing to your flesh. And that's why God's command is Galatians chapter 5 verse 24. Lord Jesus Christ, those who believe in then with, with your flesh, you're going to, you're going to put your worldly love and worldly flesh on the cross your flesh which is your enemy your worldly love if you have worldly love you have a lot of greed and who do you kill you're killing yourself first that's Proverbs 21 verse 25 so then if you have worldly love that is not real love you're always thinking about something else so when you see them they don't have faith but and yet they say oh they have love it's because of the adulterous love that's what that's what's happening why why don't you see it because inside your heart you don't even know what's inside you you're being fooled by your answer as a demon you're in the darkness <clears throat> that's why during 6 to june 25th the korean war when there's a lot of bombing and the flashes and gmc came and there was a lot of flashes why to chase away the darkness but did darkness really be chased away no you have to have Christ light inside your heart and so today all of you this incredible you're realizing something incredible tonight today you have to test yourself whether you have faith I'm sure it's in only in the Bible you can't hear it so even though to test yourself you say oh I have it you say but God does not give you someone who's not going to help you, Almighty God. Only those who's going to help. That's why Christ from the beginning is Lord. He's your helper. That's why if you do force your repentance, so then you're going to go towards Jesus. Then that Jesus, if, if he comes and that's faithful, why doesn't he give Jesus? Because your flesh is always losing to your heart. Your flesh is always winning over your heart. And so you're always killing Jesus. That's why, and your flesh is always winning. So, you're not going to give glory to God. That's why God's not going to give you Jesus. And that's why your, your body, 
if you're always you have to your flesh has to lose to your to your heart to the Holy Spirit then after that that he'll give it to you that's Lord Jesus John chapter 10 verse 30 let's read it together ready go I and the Father are one what Amen what did Jesus say me and Father are we different or same so why don't you think you think God doesn't know that when I go inside you you're going to kill me so why, why, why should he come inside you and that is why that's why you don't have faith so when faith that's why Jesus when Jesus becomes Lord let's look up 1 Corinthians chapter 12 verse 3 you have to receive the Holy Spirit and chase the demons out from your heart so then your, your, your heart can win over your flesh at that time Lord Jesus will come inside your heart and so that Lord Jesus Christ Lord Lord on both sides Christ and Jesus becomes Lord when he when they become your helper then according to your faith it'll happen your according to your faith it will happen amen we're really eating delicious food today so where there is nuts or where there is chestnut why because when we were young our parents made us just open up the peanuts and then because my parents they didn't want us to eat the inside yet so then we would hide little pieces and then later on we couldn't find it nowadays kangjong is a Korean dessert that we well, we were only able to eat it on, on New Year's Day but nowadays nobody wants to eat that you only want to eat it if it's delicious almighty God he killed his own son to love us and what did he give us he gave us faith so Lord is our helper we know that Lord is my helper so then Christ from the beginning is Lord so to us when we do force repentance he will help us but Jesus from the beginning does not help us so when does he become Lord after you receive the Holy Spirit so you have to receive the Holy Spirit and your heart can win over your flesh then Jesus becomes your helper Lord your helper and when Christ becomes your helper too according to your faith it will happen Amen Amen this incredible love let's read with one voice ready 1st Corinthians chapter 12 verse 3 therefore I make known to you that no one speaking by the Spirit of God says Jesus is accursed and no one can say Jesus is Lord except by the Holy Spirit Amen you have to receive the Holy Spirit then Jesus you can call him your Lord so what does the Holy Spirit do when he comes he comes to our to our hearts and when our heart is fighting with our flesh Holy Spirit comes into our heart makes us strong and win over our flesh and when you have the Holy Spirit inside your heart then G you can receive help from Lord, from Jesus and that is why from the beginning Jesus is not Lord after you receive the Holy Spirit and when you kill your flesh and when your heart is strong and, and win over your flesh and from that moment then Jesus is Lord your helper Amen and that's why test yourself whether you have faith or not it is not you don't just make that up on your own and because you don't know this you don't even have faith but you think that you have faith you're being fooled by yourself and so you come to me oh pastor Park I, I believe in Jesus but when I see you you don't have faith Lord is my helper but you don't know that Jesus is Lord when did you know you just heard this right so up until now did you have faith no you didn't have faith but so from the very beginning of this revival your your body winning over your flesh you have to receive the Holy Spirit so you can win God, Jesus and God is one but God is not going to give Jesus when you're going to kill him it doesn't work he's not going to give it to you You say, how come it doesn't work? You believe.
But let's put an end to it not working. But for us, let's put an end to this. It'll happen for all of us. It's so precious. So when congregation members come to me and they say it doesn't work, I say, your only helper is Lord. Our, our helper is only Lord. Even though I tell you, but you say even Jesus is not Lord, he's my helper? No, but God does not give him. Why? Because you're going to kill him otherwise. We're not talking about on the cross, but if you continue to kill him, then you're going to block all the, all, all the glory to God. Now you say, I'm in Matthew chapter 1, verse 1. Even you don't know up until then, Matthew chapter 1, verse 1. How about Pastor Park, you say too much? So all of you, so don't I, don't I tell you, if you want to know Jesus Christ, you have to have deep understanding. That Proverbs 9, verse 10. So let's look that up. If you look, if you look at the, the tool, the sickle, it's, it's like the Korean alphabet, kyok. But if you look at, if you look at upside down, then it's nian, which is another, the second alphabet of Korean alphabet. And that's why there's a saying that if you look at the tool and you say you don't know the alphabet, But if you look at Jesus Christ and you don't know faith, that's a real problem. And that's why Matthew chapter 1 verse 1, there are no sermons based on that. So now that you ate this and now you enjoy it. So it's sweet. It's okay. You're not going to get sick. Even if the sick, even if, even if you had sickness, according to your faith, it'll happen. Answers will come. So then this Jesus Christ. Proverbs 9 verse 10. Ready? Go. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom, and the knowledge of the Holy One is understanding. Amen. But pastor, here is this Jesus Christ talking about being Holy One. That's, that's Jesus Christ. Let's look up 1 Peter chapter 1 verse 15 and 16. That's what Jesus said. Because I'm holy, you need to be holy too. So then, there's only Jesus who's holy. So then this knowing this holy person, who can know? Only those with deep understanding can know Jesus. Only the true pastor who's acknowledged by God. So then that's why, pastor, that's why I keep telling you, when you look at, I keep telling you to write down all the verses. Then when you continue to meditate on that, that you're going to receive grace. So then Jesus, Jesus is six books of the Bible, is Jesus. So that's why when, when Jesus says, he says it, that means it's an incredible saying. You just have to eat that and miracles will happen right away. And that's why the centurion comes for the first time and the, and the servant gets healed right away. And this is the practice, this is the this is what we're learning right now, Colossians chapter 3, verse 16. So, Pastor Park, why don't you go fast? Even when Jesus did that, for when, they, when the disciples left home for three and a half years, so then if it's day and night, if it's only day, it would be seven, seven years. So how can I be better than Jesus that I can make it shorter? Some people say, oh, but Pastor Park, I thought that it was only going to last three years. When did I ever say it was only going to be three years? Even Jesus did that. That's all I said. So then after three and a half years, I said, Jesus, Jesus was day and night. So then if it's only day, that's seven years. And then after that, it's seven years. And then you say, how come it still doesn't work? It's, it's because of the Bible. It's, 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 it's all written in the Bible. It, but it'll happen for all of you. It's just a matter of time. First Peter chapter 5, verse 10. God himself will make it happen for you. So do not be disappointed. So let's all, let's all receive this spiritual power. Let's all receive this mystery. It'll happen for all of you, whether you're a man or woman. It'll happen for all of you. Amen. So here, God says, Knowing the Holy One, you have deep understanding. And who is this Holy One? First Peter chapter 1, verse 15 and 16 is Jesus is saying. So let's read it again. Let's read it together. 
But like the Holy One who called you, be holy yourselves also in all your behavior. Because it is written, You shall be holy, for I am holy. Amen. Here, Jesus is saying, it's not just he's saying his behavior, his actions is holy. So God is saying you have to be holy just like me, even in your action. Jesus is talking about his holiness. So he's holy. If you want to know his holy one, you only you have to, only the deep understanding person can know him. So deep understanding knows true God. It's the pastors that acknowledged by God. Jeremiah chapter three verse fifteen. Only he is acknowledged by God. So the pastors at your church, they're incredible. That's what God said. Let's read it one, one, one voice. Jeremiah 3 verse 15. Then I will give you shepherds after my own heart who will feed you on knowledge and understanding. Amen. So if you want to know this Jesus Christ, who is he? He's holy. So how? who knows holy person? Only those with deep understanding. And that's why here, Deep understanding is a true pastor that's acknowledged by God. Jeremiah chapter 3 verse 15 is recorded there. So then, if you want to dissect it more, then 1st King chapter 4, it says, three, Proverbs 3000 and Psalms 1005, total 4005 verses, after, and then, and other than Psalms and Proverbs, it's incredible has to go inside, then your deep understanding. That's why, you have to be, you have to at least more than 5,000 verses. So if you want to know deep about Jesus Christ, you have to be able to give sermons more than 5,000 sermons. Then you'll know a little bit. That's what it says in the Bible. So then you go to church and you, the reason why you don't know Jesus Christ, this is a reason. So from the, from the very beginning, we talk about Jesus Christ. Matthew 1, one, one chapter 1, verse 4, we're talking about finding a genealogy, Christ becomes our, our, our Lord, our helper, but Jesus doesn't come to us very easily. And that's why Jesus, we, it breaks our relationship with Lord. It's because you don't, you don't have the qualification. You, you don't have the qualification to receive. You have to have the Holy Spirit. How do we see, we see the Holy Spirit? Matthew chapter 12, verse 28. Let's look that up. You have to chase all the devils away from your heart, inside you. And when you do that, then God will go inside you. Right before He goes inside you, He will give you the Holy Spirit. So when you have life of faith, so inside your heart, you've never heard of building, building, building the dwelling. Ephesians chapter 2, it's the same as that. The verse, the sermon that I just shared with you, Matthew chapter 12, Matthew chapter, Ephesians chapter 2, where we're about talk, building the dwelling inside your heart, it's the same thing. So if this sermon is not the same as that sermon, everywhere you go, everywhere you look at, it's the same sermon. Matthew 12, verse 28. Ready? Go. But if I cast out demons by the Spirit of God, then the kingdom of God has come upon you. Amen. Holy Spirit is a gift. First, Second Corinthians chapter one verse twenty-two. It's given in your heart. Why does He give it in your heart? Because in your heart, He has to give you all the way to Jesus, so that God can come inside your heart to help you. Because Lord Jesus, as your helper, Lord God, to help you, and that's why Lord Jesus, Lord God, they're the same. And we just read that John chapter ten verse thirty. So when He comes inside your heart, Almighty God, what doesn't He know? He's not going to go where he's going to get killed. He's not going to go in there. And that's why all of you, right? Now, even though you're here, even if you're here for the first time, you can heal the servant that's at home. But how come it doesn't work for you? Because this is not happening for you. Because right here, when I tell you the area that you need to change, you just have to change that. According to the, according to the, the word, if you're just obedient, it'll happen. When you're here, the six, six books of the Bible, you have to eat all this. You just ate all this. So the witness that I give, testimony that I give, the word, 
back then we didn't have the the copy the copy paper eight by eleven so I would write down the verses and every time I around the verses I'm around the revivals around the world I go and, and I carried it with me and I, and I was meditating and it got all all worn out in the side so then I kept copying and copying and copying Deacon how many times did I copy it the diploma of, of my faith that I, I wrote it's like seven times that I, I copied right that's how much I, I, I read it and I, and I meditated and that it was all worn down on the on the on the edges that's how much I ate the word so because I copied so many times that it got a little weird so then a few years ago I coated it and before then it was really worn down on the on the corners so then it shows that it was copied about up to seven times you can tell from the lines around them that's how much I ate so I repented that much and this is the, the spiritual food that I'm sharing with you worldly ways this is the true food even though you're eating for the first time it's free even if you're here for the first time it'll happen for all of you you're so blessed this is an incredible blessing that you have it's an incredible blessing so then inside your heart if you have faith you have to test yourselves and at the same time you're going to have dwelling God's dwelling inside your heart so not anybody can give a sermon on that because it's incredible mystery has to go inside Ephesians chapter 2 so Jesus Christ come inside my heart I thought that that's faith Ephesians chapter 2 verse 8 God said that's a gift so well, how come he only gives Christ and he doesn't give Jesus why because when he gives it we kill it I, I kill him right away that's why God does not give Jesus to us so if you give if you kill another person that sin is incredible but if you kill Jesus what's how can you expect to live after that that's why God does not give Jesus so that that's the reason why he doesn't give because they're Lord Jesus because Jesus hasn't changed into Lord as our helper that's why God does not give Jesus so even if he gives Jesus we just kill it we just continue to sin and that is why when he becomes Lord until that happens he doesn't give and because when our flesh flesh and our heart is always fighting and my our flesh is always winning and that's why with our heart you have to kill or your flesh that's why the that's the reason why I gave the sermon on the first night that's the reason even though you don't know but God gave you the best blessing let's receive this blessing and, and live happily it's amen so God did this for us so inside your heart you have to have the sanctuary chapter Ephesians chapter 2 verse 21 it's incredible if you go to an if you go to a neighbor that you don't know you don't know how about pastor park I we don't know what's going on we're, we're just like our eyes are just like the cow's eyes that just got wiped out it's okay even then you'll be blessed even if you're here for the first time if you're just obedient to the word according to your faith it'll happen it's incredible the incredible spiritual power that God will give out to all of you and in other words if God comes inside your heart and he will work inside your heart with you you know how great that is Ephesians chapter 2 verse 21 only one verse in whom the whole building being fitted together is growing into a holy temple in the Lord amen in in whose heart in in whom that's why Lord is Christ it's forced repentance. It's mystery of God. It's mystery of Christ. This Lord is your helper. And that's why that is where it starts. In Lord, the temple in the Lord. Amen. If it doesn't work with this, then that's a fake sermon. So it says here and over there is something else, and that's that's wrong. It's not gonna work. And that's why if you look at the verse, you know whether that pastor is is right or fake but if you have 5,000 5,000 tests then you know right away if that's fake or not and that's why our pastor Noah says oh you think you're the greatest 
This is when in the world they were they were, they were having disciple disciple learning at different churches, and I said, no, that's not going to work. So then Pastor Parks, then Pastor No said, what, you think you're the greatest? You should listen to other, other pastors. No, if I listen, only look at a little bit, I know right away. They'll be, they'll be caught right away. So when I, when I, before I, I gave money to my, to my employee, and and I I went I told them to go buy a goat that's black, and after a while, I found out that it was just dyed with black. It wasn't a it wasn't a black goat because back then it was a white coat white goat that they had dyed it black. That goat didn't say anything. He was like a sheep. After a while, the black color, it changed, you know, it, it grew out and the white colors came out. But our faith can be like that. This gospel cannot be like that. In the Lord, the temple is being built. So in the Lord, temple is being held, built. What does it say? Verse 22. In whom you also are being built together into a dwelling of God in the Spirit. Amen. Incredible. Why does it say in the Spirit? You have to receive the Spirit. So that, so God can come and Jesus comes. That's when, that's when Jesus will come. And that's when faith is given. Amen. That's Lord Jesus. He's our helper, Jesus. And that's why from now, this, this hour is such a precious hour. So starting now, if anything doesn't work, According to the faith, according to your, to the Bible, as long as you know the number, then you can open up any safe. Let's change our life. Let's receive blessings according to your faith. It'll happen. According to your faith, it'll happen. It'll happen for everybody. Let's, we're here to receive this blessing. It's an incredible blessing. I feel sorry for those who, who are not here to listen to this. Don't you feel sorry for them? Surely it is. It's hard using all the different dialects in South Korea. Everybody will understand me. So because we share this incredible blessing, let's turn to our neighbors and say, you've changed your destiny, you've changed your life. You've, your life is changed now. In your heart, now that you have the Holy Temple inside your heart, your face is different. So here, that's when your faith, according to your faith, it'll happen. According to your faith, it'll happen. Amen. Did you tape this? Yes, did you tape it? Even though I know I'm just, I'm just kidding. More than that tape, it has to be inside your heart. It has to be in, recorded inside your heart. It's an incredible promise from God. And that's why this revival, from the, from the first start, one heart, one way, you, you become a blessed person. You go to heaven, block all the calamity. You, you and your children do better and better. We have to receive all the blessings. That's how we started this. This is how blessing it is. Amen. If it doesn't work, just pray according to the, to, the, to the word and God will give it to you. So the reason why he doesn't give, give you the blessing is because you're trying to kill God right away. So he's, God's not going to give you. And also if he gives it to you, you can't control it. You're going to kill it. That's why God is saying, I will give it to you in a little bit. Just wait. We don't have to wait. It's going to happen right away. What are, what are your wishes according to your faith? Matthew chapter 8 verse 13. According to your faith, it'll happen. It happened for everybody. Let's all receive this blessing and live happily. New year, you're all going to in, win. You're all going to receive blessings. You're going to do better and better. Let's all receive this blessing. Amen. So turn to your neighbor and say, let's not, let's not miss this blessing. Let's not lose this blessing. Let's not lose this blessing. It's so good. It's so good. All of you, why didn't it work? Now it's going to work. 
Some people come for the first time and say, they say he's a centurion. Did he pay Jesus? No. Because he just did according to the word. That's why. All of you, it'll happen for all of you. So you're here to receive this great blessing. Do you, it's not only to, for you to live. You have to save South Korea and you have to save the, save the world. Let's all live this incredible life. Let's all receive this blessing. Amen. Let's cry to the Lord three times. We have to grow into a holy temple in the Lord. And let's all receive God in our hearts and all of our wishes come true. Let's cry to the Lord three times. Chuyo! 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 Father God, according to your word, let us all receive answers tonight, today in the Lord. Help us the Holy Spirit. And Father God, according to your word, all of our wishes be fulfilled today. According to your faith, it will happen. According to your faith, help us to all receive this blessing. Even the family members who are not here, all of our relatives, all of them, all the wishes will be, become true. We believe that miracles will happen. We believe that incredible miracles will happen. Help us to all become your righteous tools with this hour. Let us all receive this incredible blessing so we can live as your child. According to your faith, it will happen. Let us all repent thoroughly. So in Lord Christ, so we can meet Lord Jesus. According to our faith, help us to all receive this incredible blessing. Father God, please open the gates of heaven and bless us. Help us to all go inside Christ. Help us to all repent. So all of our wishes can come true. According to your faith, this blessing the, surely will become the witness to, be, to receive all the blessings of our, our family members that are left behind and our businesses. And Lord, please perform your miracles. Let us all cry to the Lord three times and let us all repent and let us all change our lives. Ready? Go. Lord, Chiyo, Chiyo, Chiyo.